still, there's a lot of talk about this new DC Black Label universe, which all started with the Todd Phillips Joker movie, starring Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> now, little is said as to what movies fall under this universe, seeing as to how Birds of Prey, Justice League, The Snyder Cut, Wonder Woman 84, and others are all part of the DCEU. Some people believe that the DCEU dissolved after that shit show that was called the Justice League. But it's still hanging on, thanks to Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Shazam. I think Batman's mostly to blame for the fall of the DCEU, though, because Ben Affleck got done with the role only after, like, two movies, and Robert Pattinson took over. It's been widely speculated that the Joker movie and Matt Reeves' Batman movie are tied into the same universe, but let's just take a look at that. So, in The Joker, Arthur Fleck isn't necessarily THE Joker from Batman's rogues gallery, but is more or less the inspiration of that character. There have been many Jokers along the way, and even if they don't all share this universe, Todd Phillips made it clear that Fleck did start a following. A cult of Jokers, basically. This is confirmed when a random dude broke off of the riot and killed the Waynes at the end of the movie. Because in some incarnations, the Joker himself killed them as a young man. But I guess the message is that anybody could be the Joker. The Joker is just an idea of anarchy, much like Heath Ledger's version. A lot of people think that Jared Leto's Joker was an extreme fan of Arthur Fleck, and he took up the mantle after Fleck died. There are a lot of endless theories, really. Alright, I'm getting off topic here. So the theory here is that Pattinson's Bruce Wayne is the same little boy from the Joker movie. This would mean that Bruce grew up to become Batman, as he should, but a different person became the Joker. Maybe Fleck got locked up in Arkham and someone else took over for him. Most people think that this is Jared Leto, and that does make sense, but that would also mean that Robert Pattinson goes on to become the Ben Affleck version. This is interesting because Batfleck is in his 40s or 50s, and he's been Batman for quite a while. So technically this theory does work, but we won't be seeing Ben Affleck or Jared Leto in this Black Label universe. Sources say that Macaulay Culkin is actually in talks to play the Joker in the Matt Reeves series. Ultimately, theories aside, here are the facts. The DCEU, which is Ben Affleck's Batman, Jared Leto's Joker, and all of the Justice League and Suicide Squad characters are all in their own universe. Pattinson's Batman and the characters in his movie are on his universe. And then you have the Joker, which doesn't share a universe with any other movie. Now, Todd Phillips did say that he wants to do a Joker-style movie for each of the Batman villains, and then tie them all together. So it'll be a grounded, dark origin universe for the rogues gallery. And that is truly what the Black Label universe is. Alright guys, see you later.